Hello everybody and welcome back to the We Skill Now YouTube channel. You clicked on this video because of the title. I started Trailblazer early. I clickbaited you! No, um, I, uh, I'm starting a new account here for the specific reason of seeing what it's like to play the game from the perspective of a brand new Iron Man spawning in Lumbridge in order to make a concrete list and plan of steps that I can take to efficiently use my time in Trailblazer. Now, doing this is not super important. It's not it's not necessary, okay? I promise you. But I just kind of was feeling a little uncomfortable with not having a specific plan for day one, for unlocking bird houses, for getting some good, good content, um, done and instantly ready to go because one thing that's really important for me in, in trailblazer is i want to get to a point where i can comfortably afk as fast as possible and to do that i wanted to make a plan so let's go let's play this brand new account and i'm gonna bond up and i'm gonna just pretend that we're playing trailblazer con should i be a standard iron man no con should i be a hardcore yes i am a hardcore iron man Heading into Mistalin, we are expecting to just spawn right here as soon as we log in. Boom. I'm actually expecting to spawn on this tile, to be honest, and not inside of the castle. All right, here I am looking a bit more like you recognize. Oh, nope. I'm actually this guy in the background. <laughs> I've got my main account here in order to bond him up. So let's use this bond, even though it was a little bit of expensive. But we're gonna we're gonna bond up this character right now. All right, let's accept the bond. Very very good. Okay, redeem one one bond for 14 days. Confirm. You've gained 14 days of membership. Please log out before attempting to log into a member's world. Okay. All right, I'm excited. We're gonna get to work here. All right, here we are in a member's world. We are on the tile that we can only assume is. The tile that we're going to be spawning on as soon as we start Trailblazer. Hey, there's a chance that we'll be over in Lumbridge inside the castle, uh, inside the castle as well. But this is currently the tile that we spawn on normally to play the game. Uh, don't mind the purple tiles, by the way. That's just something that we're doing on Twitch, where uh, subscribers get to get to put their name on a tile when they subscribe. Now, some things that we can assume. We are going to spawn with this inventory. And when we go to the bank, they won't be in our inventory immediately. But when we go to the bank, we will start off with a Draman staff and also an elemental shield. So personally, there's a couple of things that I have in my mind as important beginner things to unlock and do. One thing is to get level 38 thieving. Why 38? so that I can get Master Farmers. Master Farmers are excellent thieving experience and loot, bunch of seeds. I'm gonna be using my notes tab on the side here in Runelight to keep track of some goals uh, and concrete steps that I wanna take when I start this account. So if I wanna get level 38 thieving, I want to consider what, well, how many actions I need to take in order to get level 38 thieving. So some people, immediately are going to run right inside as <laughs> i can promise you this as soon as you as soon as you hop into trailblazer this man this man is basically going to lose his pants <laughs> there's going to be a bunch a bunch of accounts pickpocketing him immediately he might even be on a tile that's like right next to the spot and he's just going to be getting destroyed <laughs> Uh, perhaps by the time you log in, someone will have locked him into this building. Or, no, 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 they'll just take... Can you pickpocket any... Yes. This woman is going to get pickpocketed a lot. And maybe maybe they'll be able to lock her in place so that... Uh, I don't know. Some really smart people are going to lock some man or woman into a corner. And you'll just be able to click on them for a bunch of thieving experience immediately. The bar has a good spot. Is the pub over here? Yes. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. So just going to the bar right away... There is already a guy stuck in the corner right here, and no one's even attempting to get him stuck. So this will be a good thieving spot, Bob's axes. There's tons of doors, tons of buildings around here that we can lock NPCs in. That'll be great, and I'm sure I'm sure some worlds will have men locked in them uh, immediately, ready to go. So 38 thieving, the process will surely start 
with that, thieving men. We'll go into more specific steps later. But I also want to focus on getting birdhouses unlocked. And that's the, the main obstacle in birdhouses is training your crafting right away. But we've got a way to do that. Another thing that I want to do early on is unlock a rune axe. And I guess as a beginner route, we might even just say get a steel axe. Because you'll use a steel axe on the way up to level 40 woodcutting. I would like to get the 10k from the security stronghold. Stronghold of security. But I actually want to have a reason to get that 10k. What's my reason? Well, we want to get a steel axe. How much GP is a steel axe? This isn't going to be extremely accurate, but it's going to be 200 coins or more. So it wouldn't actually be absurd to get 200 plus GP from pickpocketing a man right away. But it's not, it's not that a steel axe is like insanely important though. I would like to learn and expand my brain on how to do daddy's quest right away. Daddy's home right away. The new sub quest, the new mini quest, because I haven't done that one. One thing that I would like to start early on is to start farming. Farming in Mistlin is raking content. If you can get 15 farming somehow, uh, can someone calculate how many rakes you need to do at times five experience to unlock, to, to get level 15 farming? 121 rakes to get to level uh, 15 farming. Interesting. Can you sell me something? What are you looking for? We got plant cure, compost, a rake, a plant pot, watering can, trowel, seed dipper. Boys, we got a dunce but I'm going to let it despawn. One thing that I'm going to do right away is I'm going to run to the bank immediately and I'm going to go get my Draman staff out. And that's going to be my melee weapon of choice. All right, boys. Day one of Trailblazer, we log in, we turn our run energy on, and then we click north. We right-click armor, to grab that real quick. Boom. Don't necessarily equip it, but it doesn't matter. For the... Oops. Oops. We don't have to chop that tree down, but that would be a cool, like, efficient click next. Run up to the magic tutor. Drop your air and mind runes. Turn your shift click on. Turn your shift click on. You may have to adjust your settings. Drop your air and mind runes. Right click clay magic. Pick your runes back up. Start running down. Don't click on that tree. And start running down. And start doing Mistal and Mystery. That's my plan right now. Oh, do the melee tutor as well? Um, compare. Can someone compare the offensive stats of the Draman staff against the melee tutors? Okay, so there are level 6 giant rats that will be aggressive to you while you're trying to start this quest. It's kind of funny. The Draman staff is better than the tutor sword. So we already have a way better staff, or a better weapon. Okay. Dramas plus five strength and better accuracy. Love it. But you do get a shield from the melee tutor, so maybe I will. Uh, can someone compare the wooden shield with the melee tutor one? It, it, it'd be like two extra clicks, but there's so there's no reason not to. It's the same? Is it the same stats as a wooden shield? So who cares? Do you start with an anti-dragon shield? Okay, thank you guys. Dragon Slayer auto completes. Go talk to Duke for the anti dragon shield. Are you, are you serious? It's gonna be so so fun starting the league with everyone, and everyone's using a Draman staff and an anti dragon shield. That's gonna be so fun. I love it. I love it when everyone's like locked into like using similar gear. Early game. That's gonna be fun. I'm gonna talk to these NPCs. I'm gonna spam space bar. But you have to stand in a tile that you're not going to get attacked by this rat. It probably won't matter because of all the people that are around. But that was interesting. I actually... Okay, you can trap them. You can trap the rat on the other side. And then you can start the quest. <laughs> okay, so we talk to these guys. Hold space bar. Run to the boat. Why rush Mistle and Mystery? For the crafting experience. Daddy's home is more important, isn't it? 
All right, so we get to run over here. We get to grab a bucket. Use the bucket on the barrel of rain. Party on, bro! Take the manor key from the bottom of the empty barrel. Okay, so gotta search the barrel. And then, and now we go in through the front doors. This quest is an auto knife. Yes, it's also an auto bucket and tinderbox. How's the 99 agility coming? Thanks for asking. We're at 95 agility. All right, so when you come in, you take the knife. You try to open this door. Hello, and welcome to my guide. No, I'm not making a guide here. I'm just I'm just running through this so that like when I do it in Trailblazer, it'll go a lot faster. Is this quest instanced? Well, even if we were fighting for the knife, even if we were, this is not an item. This is a take knife option. I think uh, if you're early enough, I think Sheep Shearer will be faster. Rushing Sheep Shearer. Yeah. Rush Sheep Shearer. That's the plan. It looks like that's the plan. Sheep Shearer is 150 experience, and this one's 300, right? Or actually, it might be... Oh, it's not instanced. <laughs> uh, I think it's 600. Oh, the Bando's God Sword on the ground. We're going to hop back in. You're right. This is a long quest. It's legit to say. Very legit to say. Oh, you get three gems from this immediately. A, a ruby, emerald, and sapphire? And you're just going to sell those right away. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh. I got that. Did you see that? Yeah, it is satire. Yo. The, the Bandos Godsar spec. That's awesome. All right. So for our quest reward, we have to talk to Mandy outside of this. But I'm actually not going to talk to her because I was considering uh, not doing this quest and instead rushing Sheep Shearer. Because doing that quest, I realized it takes absolutely forever, but it does come with some major benefits. A tinderbox, a knife, a bucket, a ruby, an emerald, a sapphire, and 600 base crafting experience times 5, getting you to level 16 crafting immediately. But let's go see what it's like if we try to do sheep shearer instead. And sheep shearer is actually competitive to rush. Those sheep are really, really, really annoying to shear when they're all naked and a bunch of people are going for it. Okay, so if, if Sheep Shearer is absolutely horrible, if you're not the absolute first person to log on, and then Sheep Shearers are the new plows, the new version of plows, um, you can go do that quest safely, and that's going to be fine. So if we skip getting all of our equipment out immediately, and we just instantly run up here, can we do this quickly? So talk to Fred the Farmer, hold the space bar, and then what? I'm looking for a quest. All right, he hands you shears. And you're gonna maybe use your first... Maybe you'll use your... <sighs> hmm. And you'll accidentally attack rams from time to time because I think they look even more like sheep than they used to. <sighs> All right, so it's gonna be important to run to the bank to bank your stuff because you're gonna wanna have 20 inventory slots for all of this, uh, for all of these wool. Oh, mark them sheep. Good call. Good call. Okay, so when I start, I guess I'm going to attempt to, like, bank my stuff and then try to do sheep shearer. And let's just say that, like, we get done with sheep shearer and we go on to daddy's home. After we do sheep shearer, we'll run to count check and do the stronghold of security. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, cool, everybody. <laughs> hey, the Bloodhound pet. That's so sick. Let's check it out. Oh, I forgot. We have to go through the doors. Okay. We'll calmly walk. We will calmly walk until we need to run. You of all people should know Minotaurs aren't aggressive. Yeah. we The magic conch restrictions made it so that we were going to grind rune crafting, rune essence, rune essence from Minotaurs instead of mining it ourselves and that was crazy that was so funny because it actually we went so so dry 
getting rune in essence. All right, things getting real here. Things getting real. <gasps> he smacked me by a four. Did anyone bring me food? I guess I'm an Iron Man. I stand alone. <laughs> I don't have food. I don't have food, and unfortunately, I could have had bread and shrimp. So that would have been good. You have to remember to set bank pin before doing this. That's a great thing to say. Could there be a task for completing this, though? Oh, maybe, you know what? There probably is a task, which means we have to do the fourth floor. For, fourth floor. Let's do the fourth floor. Let's do it. Let's do the fourth floor. Because I bet you will have to do the fourth floor. Quick points. Quick points. Okay, shades are non-aggressive. If there's a task for completing the scepter, then there is no reason to do this right away. Because you'll do it anyway later. Um, 10k just from the first three floors, though. Do you get money on the fourth floor at all? Here we go. We're doing it. Tanked it. Oh, that was someone else. <laughs> Only four damage, boys. Just boots. Just boots. What's my clan chat? It is we skill now. Boys, we did it. We made it to the fourth floor, and it wasn't even hard or dangerous. Trail In Trailblazer, it'll be even easier. Anyone already know offhand how much a bolt of cloth is? They're 650 each? Well, I mean, if that's the case, we, we know the numbers then. We know the numbers. That's okay with me. Um, I might offline... Grab that 10k and then continue this and then we could continue this uh, next time. Next time we stream. Boys, those are some thoughts for the very beginning of Trailblazer. I'm thinking I'm going to continue this series because I'm not ent entirely satisfied with um, how confident I've gotten with, uh, with my starting steps. There's more to explore and there's more to do. And I want to flesh out a game plan for a, little, a few more steps than just this. So I'm looking forward to coming back to this account and, uh, and checking out uh, some more things. If you want this to be a series, let me know. I think I can ask for this at this point. Can we hit, I think, a little bit higher than average for me is 75 likes on this video. If we hit 75 likes, yeah, we'll totally continue this. You're, you're just going to have to let me know that uh, it's something that, that you actually want, though. So let me know. Hit the, hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like hanging out, join the Discord. Uh, follow me on Twitch. We're doing this live right now. And uh, and have a great day. We'll see you later. I am plan. By the way, by the way. I went 2400 kill count dry for the whip in Twisted League. And Clip, my man, was right here. Wait a minute. No! It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just let this boy take it. Don't forget about the whip spawn in, in Varrock. This guy must be freaking out. He's running straight to the Grand Exchange. He's running straight to the Grand Exchange. He's freaking out. He's freaking out to his friends. He's running. He's running. <laughs>